Welcome engineers, my name is Travis IQ, and today we're gonna to talk about the Ecobi Smart Thermostat and the installation and integration into a smart home with something like Home Assistant. So let's take a look. So let's get started with this Ecobi unboxing, shall we? Do, do, do. Straight out of the Amazon box. That's a full unboxing. When you unbox the box that it's in. This is the uh, Ecobi Smart Thermostat with voice control. Let's do it. Nice plastic wrapping. Looks like the box is actually pretty cool too. The box is outside it will slide out very nice smooth unbox so here is the smart thermostat itself it's got the nice plastic on the top we're not going to do our plastic removal until we do the install we've got a temperature sensor for finer control in current in, in specific rooms so we'll use that we'll set it up in the room that we're most uh, often in Looks like we've got some instructions and some additional information. How to install your guy. There's some insulation stuff on the inside here. Activation, placing within stands and things like this as well. Um, we'll take a look at that when we actually install the device. A nice little booklet of how to install, how to install your Kobe. Cabling, all this stuff. We'll go over that when we do when we do the install. Wire labels and wire label information. A mount, which will be ideal, as well as a backplate mount. This is actually similar with the little uh, with the little self leveler and things like that to the G4 doorbell that I recently did, uh, which is super useful when you're mounting it to a wall. Uh, I believe that this goes um, in the furnace wiring uh, harness if you have uh, like, a, like a different system with control issues and things like that. I'm actually not sure which one we have yet, so we'll take a look. And then mounting screws and a little stand. Yeah, nice quick unboxing. We'll get to the install. Let's do it. The first thing we need to do is remove the existing thermostat. With this older Honeywell thermostat, we can simply remove the battery and pull on the device and it will pop off the wall mount. The thermostat in this example was powered when I pulled it off the wall, but I should point out that I cut the power to the furnace at the breaker and at the furnace itself before starting any of the electrical work. Next, we need to remove the control power wires from the original mounting plate. Uh, remove the wall plate and install the Akobi mounting plate. So you'll notice I first tried the smaller Akobi mounting plate, but quickly realized it didn't cover the discoloration left by the previous thermostat. Fortunately, Akobi provides a larger mounting plate in case you run into an issue like this. So we grab the larger mounting plate, snap the smaller plate with the electrical connectors onto it, and mount it to the wall. We then need to slot the wires into the correct place on the Ecobi board. Fortunately, my wire colors correspond correctly to the red, yellow, green, white standard for thermostat wire and color labeling. Uh, if this isn't the case in your wiring, make sure to more thoroughly label the wires so you don't get confused. Speaking of getting confused, You'll notice I had to rewire the Ecobi after I initially get the wire seated. This is due to the fact that this setup does not have a C wire. As a result, the wiring needs to be different at the Ecobi, where the yellow wire connects to the PEK slot, and we will need to install a PEK adapter at the furnace on the control board. On the furnace control board, we need to find the wires running to the thermostat 
remove the red, yellow, green, and white wires and install the Ecobee PEK in line between the control board and the thermostat. What this means is we remove the wires from the control board, slot them into the Ecobee PEK, and wire the PEK outlet wires labeled with the equivalent red, yellow, green, and white in the exact same spots on the board. There is a fifth wire on the PEK, which needs to be connected to the C slot on the control board. The reason we are doing this is to complete an independent circuit to power the thermostat directly because the smart thermostats pull significantly more power than the older thermostat that was replaced. The only thing we have left to do is mount the PEK inside the furnace controller bay and button the furnace back up. The PEK device has a magnet on the back to stick it to any metal surface inside the bay, so it's fairly easy to mount in there. Now the only thing left to do is seat the Akobi smart thermostat in the mounting plate and turn the power back on. Seating the Akobi is relatively easy. Make sure you have the Akobi oriented correctly and press it on and it snaps into place. This completes the install. If you like the video, like and subscribe for more content, uh, automation, networking, and security. And as is always the case on this channel, engineer, break stuff, and have fun.